money. Right, what's happening here then, Jonathan? Explain what's happening. Oh, I found something in the cut, so I thought I'd use it. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. This, this is our old TV from our previous house. And when we got rid of the house and everything else, we said, oh, it's too big for the boat. So I gave it to my brother. It's a smart TV, Samsung smart TV. And um, it's been stuck on his living room floor for the last three years. Not, so not been used, hasn't been not touched. Not been used, just gathering dust. So I said, um, that's the second one we've had on the boat. The little one, which is how big? Uh, 22 inch? 22, I think it is. I think this one's 43, is it? Yeah, I think so. But there's also a big difference in power consumption. Yeah, that one's 69 watts. And this one is, that's an hour. This one is looking... 45 watts. Oh, no. So it's not. I thought I said 19 before. Yeah, I thought you said 19. No, that one's 45 watts. So, no, it's only one and a half times, isn't it? So that's all right. Yeah, well, that's I not too bad. I don't know. It's my age. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, the plan was, the original plan was, we were thinking about suspending it from the ceiling. Yeah, up here. So. It comes down there and then either folds up that way or that way when we're not using it and then it'd have to click in so into some kind of bracketry that I haven't made. Mm. But I don't know where the buttons are up here. So that one's more or less out of the window. Plus I'd probably bang my head on it. Plus, yeah. Plus in the winter that's quite warm there. Yeah. Of this. Yeah, so that's so, a no-go. So it's a no-go. Although we don't use that radiator very often, I'm um, designing some brackets now. This is my idea. I said let's utilise the... Can you it from the, from the radiator? And I thought, yeah, I'll get some masking tape. Very funny. Um, but these are the bracket, the wall bracket we have in the house. We've used this with quite a few tellies, actually. So what I'm thinking of doing now is making up a bracket that actually with screws to the back of the TV, as it always did, and then that'll slot straight over there because we don't want to lose the tally. And if I put it that side, I've got to do a lot of more rewiring. Mm. We don't actually use that radiator very often, do we? No. So that's so we can keep the radiator, and if we need Until to. Until I come up with a better idea. With a better plan, yeah. The only thing at the moment is. As I said, it's been on my brother's living room floor for three years. In, in that time, the TV hasn't moved, but the remote and the power lead has. So you what, can't find them. So what was the power? What was the remote that I had then? I the, picked the up. The remote, we, that's the one from our old Samsung, small one. Oh. But I think they're the same. Uh, yeah, I think they might I think, be. I think they are. And not only that, this one for the DVD is Samsung, and that's got two start buttons on it so i think you can use that for the tv as well mm. just yeah. to just to clarify the noise you can hear it's my bones is the old is the gangway and it's really windy today and all it's doing is rocking and rolling yeah some bits so, of rubber underneath it and that's rubbing on the side of the boat so we t we tend to think of <laughs> being on an old boat like old an galleon. old an old galleon well, when it's say, uh, my first ship yeah. See, look, he stopped now. Well, if you stop moving, it will. I haven't moved. See? But there it you goes. Turn your head. So there goes the wind. And then we're going to start creaking like an old galleon. Yeah. So my job for tomorrow, because it's now gone five o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Just got back from Mandy's mum's. And um, your brother for picking up the... And my brother's for picking up the telly. Yeah. Um, and my mum's. Yes. Been busy today. Um, tomorrow I've got to get my angle grinder out whilst Mandy's away and uh, get on with making some brackets and trying to find a power lead well, I've got a, hang on, power's going to be that end so I'm going to want a long aerial lead as well which I think we've got 
because that's going to have to come up and then in this side because yeah. that needs to swivel around and then we'll see whether it works and then the chairs come over here Mandy loses all her what would I call it no I don't call it storage hoarding that's what I call it hoarding it's it works you look you you have you have a shelf here yeah and he also uses the radiator for all his knickknacks. Another shelf. Trouble you is, see? that's just the right size for the TV remote. Mine, there. mine is all neatly stacked just camera there, case. on top of my camera Books. case. What's that? That's um, one of those Kindle things. Yes, it's the. So that's the, another stack of that, books. Yeah, <laughs> but it's also the fire. Kindle fire. How is it? Yes. And uh, bones are creaky. Oh no, it's anyway. horrible. Absolutely horrible. Anyway, there's nothing we can do about it. We're used to it. So, as I say, we do apologise. A bit of luck, we might get rid of some, some of Mama's hoarding. Well, that never happened, will it? Round, if she turned round and panned left. No. We've got a gin shelf, oh. more books, and just everything chucked on the shelves. No, well, yeah. Well, that's important. Look, that's my books. Some of them. And then there's the gin collection. Um, some of it. But anyway... That's another story. And all I get is two pictures. You get two pictures, but they, but below that First shelf, there is a hoard. No, it's not. It's two bottles of beer. No, uh, it's normally has his whiskey collection down there, out of the way. Anyway, so this is um, watch this space, I suppose, while Jonathan works out what he's going to do. Oh yes, there's Isla. One dog. And there's two Sky. Dogs. Sky. Hello, Sky. Mine's disappeared under my chair. Oh, yeah. I think Isla's... No, Molly is under your chair. She is. And if I go down here, you might see Molly. Comes Sky. Molly. Hello, oh. Sky. That's Sky. Now, I've always said to Mandy about all the extra storage she's got down in the cellar. She doesn't believe me. Underneath there, there's the door to the cellar. Oh, stop it. You're giving away all my secrets. That's the wine cooler, I wish. It's never been used for that, though, is it? No. No. It don't last long after it comes out of the fridge. No. Well, that's another job. So, it's going to be busy this week. And then when Mandy comes back tomorrow, if I can find a power lead, you might see me watching telly over there. Well, that's going to be weird, because... It's been nearly three years before, since we've sat that way. You're going to have to move some of that. I know. I don't I know. know what Isla's going to think of that. She won't be able to sit on the arm in your chair. No, Isla sits on the top of my, on my arm. Anyway, so we'll catch you up later. Yeah. Hi, and uh, moving on from yesterday. And I've been tasked from Mandy, a good boy, while she goes off, to make some brackets for that TV we brought back on board. Um, the old wall bracket that came with it, I am going to turn this, which is the old wall bracket. I've taken the other parts off, and now I've got to cut that up to make this. This one came from Blue Peter one I made earlier. I've just put the black tape around the edge. I have cleaned up the um, cut edges so they're not sharp and that tape makes it look all wonky but it's not. It's just the tape. Um, I'll have to take that off and put it back on again. So make one of these from one of them. All right, where was he? That's this one. Right, you got to make a smaller one and a bigger one. Uh, to do this, I'm going to have to use some tools. Angle grinder. Do you know, I reckon I've almost got as many tools on board as Mandy has bottles of gin. Although I'm exaggerating, she's got far more gin. Make one of them out of that. So what I'm going to do is cut this piece off along here 
and across there so it looks like that and clean it up and put some tape on it and we'll see if it works I also got to try and find a power lead from somewhere I'll have to dig deep right I'm going to get on and uh, cut this one up I won't bother showing you that because there's going to be bits flying everywhere um, and I'll show you the next stage after. Right, we've got the brackets on. Just hooked over the top of the radiator for now because I don't know whether this is going to work or not. Ah, TV's on the radiator. Slight angle down. Got to move the chairs now. And tidy up outside where I've made a mess, otherwise I'm in the doghouse. Oh, I am. You coming out, Mum? She said, what's that? I wasn't there when I went to sleep. I can see myself in it, I'll start barking at it in a minute. No? Alright then. Right, catch you a lot later. The cinemas are back open with social distancing. <laughs> I measured it today, it's 48 inches. It it's feels, huge. It feels a bit big. It does feel a bit big. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to move it over to this side, do a bit of um, rewiring because I can't sit with me back to the fire in the winter. No, but then this was this was a trial. It was a test. To see whether or not the TV was still working after being on the floor for three years. And um, we got wet dogs as And well. we have wet dogs, which is why they're looking a little bit of a... There's a wet dog. Hey? Yeah, that's... More, more. <laughs> that's Molly. That's Sky. And there's Isla down there. But yeah, they've just come in from outside and it's raining. It's been raining all day, so they do look a bit of a mess. Damp dog. And we didn't get each question right. No. Got a few wrong. So yes, it's quite a strange experience to be sat like that with that massive telly. Yeah. Um, but then <laughs> I, can, I get to see the, I get to see up the um, subtitles now because I can't in the small TV. And we can see now TV. Yes, now TV. I haven't been able to see now TV for ages because that little TV I got over there, doesn't, I didn't realise it. Doesn't do the app. Doesn't do the app. So I wasn't wasn't best pleased about that. But um, yeah, so well, it, it worked, and you've got it plugged in down here, and then you ran the aerial from the old place, didn't yeah. you? So it wasn't yeah, much to do. Yeah, because opposite ends, mm. which is typical. And we had to use the lead off of the printer. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> that was that was a brainwave this morning trying to find out. So I took the. I took a snapshot at the back of the TV just in case um, we couldn't find it so I could see on Amazon or eBay see if there was a replacement and then it was a bit of a brainwave try the printer cable which I thought was hardwired but it wasn't nope. no so good old printer it's working the Canon printer is working the Samsung TV yeah so it's all happy at the moment so who needs a fire when you've got a TV? <laughs> well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Um, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. And you can follow us on Patreon and become a patron. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.